At the TK Martin Center, um, we have really a very special start to our day because at, beginning at 8 o'clock, we have students that are arriving for classes. And um, they're greeted by their teachers and um, the student workers that are with us and, and their therapist as well. And so it's really a great start to the day. Project Impact is our preschool program that serves children birth to age five or six when they transition to their school district. It looks very much like a typical preschool program, but everything that we do is very personalized, individualized to the children, but to the children, it's just a happy school to be attending. We serve about 40 children a week in that program. They come for school year. My daughter Ellie is five and she attends the TK Martin Center's Project Impact. And we found out that Ellie got accepted. It was summer of 2014 and of course she started school in August. Well, we didn't live in Starville. We lived in Greenwood, which is about an hour and a half away. And Ellie and I were here during the week and it was October. I mean, it didn't take us long to know that that was, that TK Martin was where we needed to be and where we needed to bring our entire family. So. We decided that everyone was going to make the move. The teachers are absolutely amazing and just, I mean, she receives physical therapy, occupational and speech therapy while she's here at school. The progress that she's made over the last four years, I mean, it, it has changed our life. I mean, you know, these were things that I always dreamt that she would do, but you know, they've made them a reality. And you know, as a parent, you know, you always want the best for your kids, but with a special needs child, you just never know. And of course you dream and you hope and you have all these wishes for them and just seeing them come true and seeing her walk through the door, it's life changing. I mean, that's, it is, it's life changing. One of the um, areas of assistive technology that we cover is adaptive driving and our occupational therapist does evaluations to determine what kind of equipment an individual may need and if they're able to drive and then also can help provide training once the equipment is um, obtained by the client as well. I came here and I got to really um, kind of catch people who have fallen through the cracks and got substandard rehab. I have a spinal cord injury myself, so I've had, I work primarily in driver's rehab. So I've had a driving evaluation. I know what that feels like. Augmentative communication is one of the assistive technology services that we provide at the TK Martin Center. And what we do is for individuals who are non-speaking, then we do evaluations to determine um, what kind of communication system can help them be able to interactively communicate with other people. Um, there are voice output devices now that are computers that actually can speak for a person. And so we look at how they can access it, if they can reach out and push buttons with their fingers, or if not, if they use head pointing or um, eye gaze or even switch use. But some way to get them to be able to communicate because communication, you know, is very, it's, it's so important. It's what connects you with the rest of the world. Our Dyslexia Project is for um, individuals who have difficulty in reading and so we do assessments to determine if someone does have dyslexia or other kinds of reading problems and then we also provide um, intervention to help them overcome it so that they can learn the joy of reading and, and also benefit academically from being a better reader. When we first got diagnosed with dyslexia, you know, numerous things were going through my mind and I knew that the school that she was attending even though it is a great school they could not provide those services as far as trying to find those interventions that she needs to make her be able to cope with her diagnosis of dyslexia and be functional in school where she can understand what she's being taught and not feel at a disadvantage because it is a challenge and they've relieved that stress of me worrying on how we're going to get those services and me doing it myself as the parent. Express Yourself is our art program here at the TK Martin Center that we started several years ago and it really is a pretty unique program because it is for individuals who physically cannot hold a paintbrush and, and paint on canvas but it allows the artist to use individuals who are able-bodied to put paint on the canvas but the artists themselves make all of the choices about what size canvas, what color paint, what consistency, what tools they're going to use 
um, and get to do visual expression, which is something that most of them have never done before because they, because they physically couldn't do it. All of the paintings that they create, we have for sale. So you can purchase a painting for the artist. Um, when a painting is sold, the artist also gets half of the money of you know, the sale price. And so this is income for them. This is a big deal for them because this is income and this is a check for them to use um, as spending money. Well, most of them is the first time they've ever made money before and it's quite liberating for them. And so it's, it's a pretty um, special project. Serving others is actually the most noble purpose. And, <laughs> and the TK Martin Center staff do that every day and I think that's what makes it so special. I don't know of anywhere else in the state that has a program like this where they can meet the physical needs of children, the emotional needs of children, the educational needs of children that don't thrive in a typical classroom or a typical daycare. These are children, you know, they deserve this opportunity. There's nowhere else in Mississippi that offers these services. And so, I mean, it's right here on our campus and right here in our town. I mean, it's impacting our lives. So, I mean, you have the opportunity to change the lives of so many children.